Hi guys. It is looking like it's breaking into a fine morning, finally. We're in the end times. And I guess this is paradise somewhere in upstate western New York on this, hopefully, beautiful Friday, July 27th, 2018. So, uh, you're all new new and improved real estate agent <clears throat> doomsday prophet has to uh, break into my ecological meltdown roundup rant to uh, further depress myself about the state of everything from my brain to the Arctic to the Amazon but before I do that uh, when I sit here and enjoy my peaceful morning cup of coffee on this beautiful day, I just want to ramble on here a few minutes and <laughs> about just these latest reflections on this long, strange trip. And I want to start off, oh, should I use her name or not? I don't know, I need to get to know this this Doomer chick, this newest Doomer chick, who has literally once again appeared in the 11th hour and 59th minute. Uh, Hambone Little Tail has once again been rescued by a Doomer chick. <laughs> I, I, unbelievable. So, uh, I want to thank the, the, the latest Doomer chick in my life, who seems like a real character. Uh, maybe you will meet her sometime during the next week for rescuing me once again and, and offering me a, a place for at least the next week up here in upstate New York. And, and, and before you, you guys start blowing the whistle on the four-day uh, limit, I want you to know that it is not she has lined me up with my own private house, so I will not actually be staying with this new Doomer chick. Um, but anyway, once again, the Doomer chick has arrived in the 11th hour and 59th minute. Uh, so, the human yo-yo Hambone, it appears, uh, Sister Sandy got her wish, and I, I think I can say it looks pretty certain now <coughs> that I will be at Sandy's party, and hope that you can join us there on August 17th, 18th, and 19th. Uh, and that is the latest from the human yo-yo. Good Lord, I had already, this is how close it was, I, I, I had already uh, emailed my, my uh, roommate in Austin, Texas, that I was going to be home Monday night, which he wasn't too thrilled about, you can imagine. And I'd already made, I, I emailed another Doomer chick in Cincinnati, Ohio uh, about staying there Saturday night and between the time I emailed her that and she emailed me back saying come on down to Cincinnati Hambone I uh, received this reply from this woman who I have known existed on the on the planet for about 48 hours I have known of the existence of this woman and she is made me this unbelievably kind offer and she made me an offer I cannot refuse and so you know I I I, I know that you that you ladies think that I that, that I'm a little hard yes a little uh, well maybe I should think of a another let's think of another adjective a uh, <clears throat> and I'm, I'm a little a little difficult to deal with sometimes, but I'm glad to see there are a few, a few of the ladies in the tribe who understand the humor 
behind it. And uh, for whatever reason, you ladies keep stepping up to the plate to uh, drag this old flea-bitten hound in out of the cold or the heat. Although I fully realize it's my little dog that they want to see, not him, my little tail. So I do appreciate the uh, the Doomer chicks for for saving me once uh, once again, and and I need just to make make it one more time, guys, uh, just as a footnote, uh, in, in in case the Doomer chick in the Catskill Mountains is listening, uh, who I had made the egregious error of believing. Uh, had saved Hambone Little Tail in the 11th hour and 59th minute. Um, for the, what what happened down there in the in the Catskills with that very nice woman uh, who does not have a psycho bitch bone in her body was 100% my fault. I, I was giving myself 95% of the blame, and I and I went back and carefully reread her first introduction and now I, I can see that I am 100% to blame. She was completely unambiguous uh, in her offer of what she was offering him by a little tail. And I made the horrendous error. And this isn't has probably really has nothing to do with the doomosphere or social media. It's, it's just anywhere in, in, in any sort of relationship in life. That, uh, that lesson that I, that I learned in the cat skills from, uh, from that shit that went down a few days ago was what my mama, uh, my mama, Elaine Mitchell, you know, used to say all the time. Uh, she was, my mother was a shrink. And, and all of the time, she was pointing out to her depressed, angry, uh, grieving patients that whenever you make a plan, when, when you make a plan that includes another person, okay, if, if you make a plan that includes another person and your happiness, for lack of a better word, your happiness, your satisfaction depends on the other person making a free will choice. Follow me, that, that might not line up with your plans. You make a plan and this other person makes a free will choice that doesn't line up with your vision of your plan uh, and, and, and you have and your happiness has been predicated upon the other person making the same decision that you have you are setting yourself up for failure you're, well not so much failure you're, you're setting yourself up for uh, for for feelings of being betrayed, of uh, certainly of of self righteous anger, uh, bad feelings, uh, certainly depression, particularly if you're already prone to depression. So you know this this is true in all walks of life and and looking back uh, it, it is the, one of the number one causes I mean it's the number one cause of war for God's sake uh, you know look at God look, look at the goddamn uh, orange-haired chimpanzee and this new guy over there in Iran that that we, we suddenly have... What happened to North Korea? Haven't we been through this fucking movie before? This is when, when you know, uh, it's a perfect example of, of how it very well the next nuclear war could erupt because of this basic thing. And so, uh, a, 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 an absolute perfect example of this. So, so anyway, guys, you gotta... So here I am 
uh, in the middle of all this and uh, in, in the middle uh, of one of the bleakest, blackest depressions that, that I have been in, I don't know how long, how, how the fuck I have the energy to get out of goddamn bed in the morning. Uh, I should be on 72-hour lockdown in a mental institution right now instead of running around loose in, in upstate New York. And so... And you know, in the middle of all this, with these with these sweetheart doomer chicks uh, offering me uh, a lifeline in the in the middle of my mental breakdown here, uh, <clears throat> as you may be aware from from my rant yesterday, I I had to get my ass back to Austin, Texas, and I was supposed to be on the road to Austin, Texas uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, I had to make a beeline back to Austin, Texas so I could just get back home and curl up in a fetal position for about the next month. So I told uh, these people west of here, because I had been thinking of, of go going back to Austin by going west and then south to like this, two lines of a triangle instead of the hypotenuse, and it added 500 miles and another full day of driving uh, to get back to Austin. I'm in the middle of a fucking uh, mental illness breakdown. Uh, so I have to get my ass back, back somewhere where I can be alone with myself and my little dog and, and try to figure out my fucking life. So I, I, I mentioned in this rant yesterday to these five people, there were five people that I was planning to, on my way back to Austin, that I was going to stop and visit five tribes members, two Doomer chicks and three Doomer dudes. So I mentioned in my rant yesterday, so I didn't have to send out five separate emails, I just mentioned that I would not be making that trip because I had run the numbers and it was 500 miles. And so my plans changed. And, and, and I guess I did not realize how important to this at least one person's happiness a visit by some depressed collapsitarian showing up at their house. So anyway, so I mentioned in this rant to these five people uh, in, I'd say, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Minnesota, and Iowa that I, that I ran the numbers. It ain't going to happen. Maybe we can catch up next year. And I get five emails, five emails back. I mean, personal emails in my in my email box. Four of these emails from the two Doomer chicks and two of the three Doomer dudes were, you know, very nice, polite. Ambo, um, sorry it didn't work out. You know, wish we could have met up. Sorry it didn't work out. Maybe we can put it together next year. You know, something along those basic lines. And then I get the fifth email. I, I, I get the fifth email from uh, one, of, uh, one, one of my alert or not so alert tribes members who is now a former tribes member. Uh, and, and, and this dude, uh, he unloaded this unbelievably toxic, toxic tsunami uh, uh, of this absolute nasty fucking passive aggressive shit. Good God almighty. Uh, I, I want to make it clear for the record, guys, that psycho bitches uh, are not limited to females. Uh, th this dude uh, is a fucking psycho bitch from hell, and and, and I gotta say that it, you know I've I've had my hunch about this guy. 
uh, ever since he first appeared in this tribe. Uh, there, there's been red flags flapping on this guy, and, and, and I've known that that this uh, psycho dude, uh, this is uh, what what he was capable of. So anyway, I, I I read about. I made it. I mean, you should have seen this fucking attack on me, but because I made the free will choice not to stop by and visit this guy for a couple of days. He acted like uh, that I had just fucking raped his daughter. I mean way out of fucking line. And I made it, as I say, maybe a third of the way through his fucking diatribe and told him to go fuck off. And obviously, I kicked him out of the goddamn tribe. So I guess I've lost another, uh, I guess I've lost another, uh, one of the, the rare contributors to my Patreon account. So, brother, I do appreciate the, uh, the, the contribution to Hambone's Patreon account. But you can take your fucking money and spend it at a goddamn uh, shrink's office for some goddamn anger management, you fucking psycho bitch. But anyway, you know, I, I don't know what the, the just this, this, this up and down roller coaster. No wonder I'm fucking bipolar, running around with all of these bipolar whack jobs in uh, in the doomosphere. But what you know, what do you expect? Uh, it's both the doomosphere and social media are, are going to attract people like this, meaning people like me. So, uh, you know, if you're down here in the doomosphere on social media, you know, and, and I hate to say this, uh, because, you know, I feel like that, that I have made some good friends, even with people I've never met. I consider uh, several of you uh, close personal friends. Uh, but at the, I, and no, I'm not going to name names, because if I sit here and, and, and rattled off a, a dozen names, I would leave somebody off the fucking list and, and I had all of these hurt feelings and, and fuck you, ham bones, and good God almighty. I, 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 I love all of you guys, all right? Um, but it, it, it's just the bottom line advice is don't fucking trust anybody that you meet, A, in the doomosphere, and B, on social media. I, I, I hate to say this. Uh, I, I, I told Sandy uh, a, a couple of days ago, we, we were talking about uh, the dangers of giving the passwords to your, you, you know, to your, to your YouTube sites or your Facebook page or whatever, that the danger uh, that, that somebody that owns your password is going to go fucking psycho on you and, and, and fuck you up bad. And uh, and I told Sandy that uh, I would not let her have the uh, the password uh, to to one of my YouTube accounts. I I'm sorry, it's just called self preservation. You know my my buddy down in uh, Brazil, my well Sam Mitchell's. Uh, you know, co-pilot over there on Collapse Chronicles. Uh, he doesn't have the password to get into Co Collapse Chronicles because I've learned uh, a, a valuable lesson that uh, you know, and, and I and I hate to be like this because you know all we have is each other to depend on from this point forward. It is the few of us on this planet that we have to watch each other's backs. We are the single most despised group of human beings on the planet. The fucking the conspiratards hate us. The chemtrail wackos hate Well, some of us might be chemtrail wackos. Uh, the... the, the 
the climate change deniers hate us, the, the, the right-wingers hate us, the Trump-tards hate us, the little left limp-dick lefties hate us, the limp-dick mainstream environmentalists hate us. Uh, we, are the, we are the hated. Uh, <laughs> we are the hated. Yes, and we, uh, we have nobody else but each other to depend on. And, it, and it's just a sad fucking commentary that, that uh, I, I, I love you guys, uh, but I can't trust, uh, I, I, I can't trust Sandy. You know, and, and, and better listen to the old human yo-yo. Uh, I, I know what a lot of you are thinking who are like, God damn, Hambone, talking about not being able to trust somebody, you fucking bipolar, whack job, human yo-yo. We never know which fucking direction you're going uh, between breakfast and lunch. I certainly add, add myself to the list. Uh, you know, like like this, like this psycho dude I was just talking about. Do not ever, do not ever, uh, do what he did, and uh, and and, and what Sandy did uh, about her party. Do not ever base any sort of uh, uh, of your future happiness or plans or whatever uh, on, on the stability of Hambone Little Tail. Uh, Jesus, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm one of the, the most unstable, bipolar, fucking whack jobs down here in the Doomosphere. You know? And it, and, and it, I, I don't feel happy about saying that uh, about myself, but I gotta be honest. Uh, I, I don't fucking trust myself as far as I can throw me. Uh, you know, uh, this is no insult. I can't believe I give myself my own passwords. I, I sure as hell can't believe. Uh, a uh, that that little milk toast pussy Sam Mitchell over there at Collapse Chronicles has the password to Humpty Dumpty Tribe, just as Sam Mitchell sure is is, is thinking, what the fuck did I ever do? Given that lunatic Hambone Little Tail, uh, the password to Collapse Chronicles. Uh, you know that guy Sam Mitchell could come in here any fucking day and delete this entire channel. Just as Hambone Littletail and one of his goddamn mood swings could go over there to Collapse Chronicles and sabotage himself. I am the king of, of self-sabotage. Look at me. So, so anyway, I, I'm not picking on anybody, alright? Uh... You know, as I, I was telling Sandy yesterday, we were talking about Collapse Chronicles and how Collapse Chronicles, which has been on the air for three months, and Humpty Dumpty Tribe has been on the air for eight and a half fucking years, uh, how Collapse Chronicles is is already so much more successful than this channel. And as I told Sandy, it's hell being jealous of yourself. You know, and, and it really pisses me off on one level. I, I mean, good for Sam Mitchell over there on Collapse Chronicles. But yeah, I'm a little bit fucking uh, envious uh, of this dude, Sam Mitchell, uh, over there at Collapse Chronicles. You know, that little guy uh, who never calls women bitches, who, who doesn't go around screaming, we are so fucked. Ugh. <sighs> Anyway, guys, you can tell I'm rambling. So I've come to the end of my peaceful cup of coffee. The weekend is getting here. The little ORVs are cranking up. And uh, I've got to go break into my, my ecological meltdown roundup rant here as the ORVs crank up back in one minute.
Bye, guys.